Welcome to my channel, Light as a Feather Tarot. This is going to be a reading for the new moon in Cancer. So that is happening July 20th, 2020, so this Monday. Um, I just wanted to kind of break down the energies and say it as plainly and clearly as possible for, um, you know, people that aren't uh, familiar with astrology. So with this energy, there's two main um things that will that this the planets will be focused on so the new moon in cancer is going to be focused on family home security and what areas do you really need to nurture you know so it's like a very loving energy it's a nurturing energy uh, tending to taking care of and then the second energy that you have to balance with is Saturn is opposing Cancer and Capricorn. So Saturn is like the drill sergeant, um, the strict father, um, just a very disciplined energy. So this is about respecting boundaries, laws, and also order. So these energies are not only going to be affecting us individually, but you're going to see it on a worldwide um, kind of scene right so it's about balancing these two energies knowing um that you need structure and discipline so my simple take on this is be gentle be kind but be firm right be gentle and kind with the new moon in cancer you know if there's a situation you know come from a place of compassion but at the same time with Saturn being there you have to be firm you have to set boundaries now that doesn't mean that you have to be ugly about it or rude so you know just keep that in mind when you set your intentions um, Monday for the new moon um, releasing any type of baggages and stuff like that be gentle be kind be firm so that's just my take on it. So let's go ahead and see what messages Spirit has for us for this new moon in Cancer. Well, Spirit is saying you're ready. What are we ready for, Spirit? <laughs> With this card, I instantly got um, a spark of energy or a surge of energy. So I feel like the energy is really going to be picking up. Any additional messages? Take action. All right. Time to take action. Plant seeds. And usually when take action comes up, you guys know what, what you need to focus on or what you need to do or what you need to handle. And that's the thing. With Saturn opposing Cancer and Capricorn, like if you have something that you need to do if if your inspection stickers out um especially dealing with the law boundaries order um if you have stuff that you need to do this is not the energy for you to procrastinate in make sure all your ducks are in a row and you're taking care of um, everything in a timely manner we have embrace change very beautiful so we could have some change coming up. So Spirit, what messages do you have for the collective for the new moon in Cancer? Ooh, cards are falling all over the place. So keep in mind, this is a general reading. So take the messages that resonate and leave the messages that don't resonate. And also all of my contact information is listed below if you would like a personal reading. So we're starting off with the Four of Pentacles. So some of you guys could be kind of holding on to your finances right now, kind of strategizing, budgeting, especially when you look out into the future the two of wands you know you you may be in a situation where you have to pick between the left path and the right path 
Spirit is saying that you're ready. Spirit is saying that, you know, it's it's time to take action and know that regardless of what whichever path that you take um, is going to lead you to your divine path. So you have messages coming in here. Something financial or valuable in nature. With the pinnacles here, the pinnacles are something that, that lasts for a long time. You know, this isn't like a get rich quick money scheme. This is something um, for the long run because pinnacles are very heavy. The magician here, this is you. Spirit is saying you have all the tools that you need to manifest the life that you that you want to do that that you desire. So make sure that you are, you know, staying grounded. You're really in tune with your energy, the things that you want to bring into your life. We have the Queen of Cups here. So the Queen of Cups, you know, she's cool, calm, and collected. You know, with this Cancer energy, she is somebody that would be very compassionate, very gentle, very kind. Um, she keeps her emotions under control. You know, there is a little bit of worry here. She's kind of looking out into the future, kind of like that mother energy, like, eh, is everything gonna work out? You know, there might be a little bit of a little bit of worry or a little bit of doubt when it comes to the future. But look at that. You're gonna be moving into the nine of cups. Wish fulfillment, satisfaction, contentment. It's a very beautiful energy. So let's clarify the four of pentacles. What do we need to know? So we have the justice card. So for a few of you, you could be dealing with legal matters, you know, maybe you've had to pay out when it comes to legal matters and you're really trying to budget and hold on to your money. Um, Spirit is saying that things are going to become more balanced. Things are going to work out just, going to work out fair. And with Saturn being there with discipline and setting boundaries and order, you know, for those of you that have been handling your finances responsibly with the four of, four of pentacles here you've been budgeting you've been being mindful of how you spend this is going to work out in your favor you know saturn is all about order it's all about balance so if you've been doing those things and not splurging you know things are gonna are gonna balance out So the Two of Wands, you have the Queen of Cups. So you guys are really going to be, you know, very calm and very cool about this decision, about the Two of Wands, about which, which decision or which path to take. So that's a very, very good thing. The Hierophant. So this speaks about some type of commitment coming in. This could be in regards to um, one of the paths, a large institution. Some of you could be thinking about going back to school. So it could be a job offer and potentially going back to school. So what about the Page of Pentacles? Whatever these messages that come in about this new financial beginning or valuable in nature, you're going to be feeling really good about. You're going to be you're going to feel very satisfied. It's just going to make you feel really good inside. I heard spirit just said hard work paying off. So like I said, the ones of you that have been really tending to your finances, um, budgeting, just being very strategic, you know, I feel like it's almost like a payoff. It's like a job well done. You have the King of Cups here. Now this could be your energy or someone around you. But the King of Cups, he or she is someone that's very compassionate. 
this could be the person um, offering you this pinnacle, but it's 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 someone that is very genuine, very supportive. So the magician, you have the five of pentacles. So I feel that you guys are going to be manifesting, um, moving away from this energy of lack, energy of loss. You're manifesting this. You're manifesting moving forward from any type of instability or financial difficulties. And even though you're manifesting it, you may still have your worries or doubts about it, but you're really keeping your emotions under control. You have the two of swords, so you may, may have to make a decision between either this or that. A decision in regards to your comfort, potentially your children, your security. This is a good card to have here. So this is about you going within, checking in with your higher self, letting go, surrendering, you know, allowing like the natural order to take course. And I feel like this, this letting go and releasing and trusting in the universe is going to move you into this energy of satisfaction. I feel like you're going to feel like you can, you can actually take a breather. You can take care of yourself. You can recharge your batteries because you don't have to really worry about your security or your finances. You're going to go within. You're going to you're going to go within. You know, the world's literally in your hands. You're going to be recharging your batteries and, you know, maybe coming up with a new plan. You know, you've gotten this far, you've manifested this far. And now you're like, okay, what's next? And I feel like your your faith is only going to increase because you have the emperor here. This is letting me know that you're going to feel you're going to feel in control. You're going to feel in control of your future and moving into your new beginning. You're you're going to take the leap of faith. So very beautiful energy. This this new moon is is going to be good but like i said it is a balance between respecting boundaries laws and order and also nurturing the things or aspects in your life that you need to nurture and that'll look unique for everybody so keep in mind come from a place of compassion be gentle be kind but be firm. You have judge here. So like I said, some of you could be dealing with legal issues. Spirit, do you have any additional messages? All right, so this card speaks about loyalty, right? Loyalty, faith, man's best friend, um, or best friend in general. So with the hair font coming up here, you know, this speaks about your faith as well. The hangman, this speaks about your faith as well. So when it comes to your faith, you're not gonna have any issues with that. I really feel like you're gonna be in tune with your higher self. You're going to know when you need to check in. You have house here. So especially with this, this new moon in Cancer, this is going to be your focus. Your focus is going to be your house, your stability, your home life, your family, your children. So that's going to be a really main focal point. Make sure that you're staying consistent with boundaries, order. And it looks like some money is going to be coming in too. Very beautiful. I feel like you're, you know, if if you've been doing what you have to do when it comes to your finances and your security, you know, when this money comes in, 
you're gonna know what to do with it you're gonna handle it responsibly I feel like it's almost like for some of us that haven't been handling our finances or our responsibilities um, efficiently you know Saturn's gonna be pretty hard on us but others of us which I feel like most of us have been making an effort to to just be in a place of balance so this is almost like your hard work paying off some type of money some type of financial gain coming in for you guys so very beautiful reading if these messages resonate please like share and subscribe this video i truly appreciate it i hope you guys take care be safe and until next time